Adrian, um, my first question. Mm -hmm. uh, you have got a lot of professions, like mm -hmm. you are a singer, you're an artist, uh, you're a photographer. So <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah. which of these professions is closer to your heart? I would not say I have a preference because I believe it's uh, all expression. It's all about uh, expressing something. So I'll say it's like languages. If you express yourself in French or in Russian or in Icelandic or Faroese, it depends. Some things sound better in Russian, mm -hmm. some things sound better in Icelandic, but it's the same message. So mm -hmm. I would say I feel the same way about all of them. Mm -hmm. It's just a different language. Mm -hmm. But here you represent uh, your musical yes. white uh, yeah, yeah. folks. Uh, okay, great. Mm -hmm. And um, last year, oh, sorry, yeah. last year yeah. I know that you released a new album mm -hmm. called the Funeral. Yes. Right? Yeah. Uh, why did you choose such a dark topic actually? Mm -hmm. what, what inspired you to create such music? Yeah. The album is called Funeral because it's for me a funeral is not necessarily a negative thing but uh, as a thing that we all cultures have uh, in Africa, in the tribe in Africa, in Denmark, wherever you are in the world we all have funeral, a uh, sort of human need that we need to have closure mm -hmm. when somebody or something leaves us we have to say goodbye in some way and uh, my album is a lot about getting closure to say goodbye to something so I want and I wanted to do it with the greatest respect to my old memories uh, of people I had to let go of who were not good for me and so on but the past is what makes you the person that you are now mm -hmm. so I wanted to say goodbye the most respectful way Mm -hmm. So it was a positive thing in that oh, way. A positive thing. Yeah. And what about the Faroos nature? Did it influence this music? Mm, I, I would say, like, to be a Faroese person, uh, you cannot not be influenced by nature because we're surrounded by it all the time. Just when you mm -hmm. open the door, you see the sea, you see birds, you see sheep, you see everything. So you're a part of it. Yeah, you're a part of it. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I cannot say. It cannot be, so it's <laughs> always there, I guess, yeah. Okay, thank you. And mm. uh, my next question, mm. um, I think, uh, as far as I mm. know, you studied uh, in Iceland. Mm. Yes, yeah. Uh, what memories do you have connected with this country and what was actually, what were you doing there? Mm -hmm. um, the Faroe Islands and Iceland are mo the, c the countries who are most familiar, like connected to each other in language and culture and nature in every way. So for me to learn Icelandic just takes six months to mm -hmm. learn it. Yeah. I think it's like Portuguese and Spanish is so related. Um, and I studied fine art there, you know, did music, and I did uh, music videos and art painted and stuff like that. Um, and how it influenced me, it was um, just Faroe Islands just in a bigger form. Mm -hmm. So it was like being home just bigger. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. And, um, at, in Copenhagen, mm -hmm. you studied at the Film Academy, yeah. right? Yes. Uh, can you tell me about your experience as a film director, actually? Mm -hmm. What have you created and what are plans for the future in this mm -hmm. world? Well, I see, um, when I see music, when I hear music, I see pictures, and when I see pictures, I hear music. Mm -hmm. So they're very much connected to me. Mm -hmm. So um, music videos for me are like the perfect marriage for me. Mm -hmm. and. My plan is to do for the album funeral to make a video for every song, mm -hmm. so uh, people will get the more the bigger picture how I see. So uh, for me, um, I think music is always going to be a big part of my movie making because mm -hmm. it's um, it's how I um, I see things very musically. So I think mm -hmm. that's going to be mm -hmm. a lot of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And um, you know. You see, there are some young people over here, so mm -hmm. they are also interested in Faru's culture and yeah. in Faru's music. Yes, yes. And uh, can you tell us just uh, what is popular now among the young, the young people, people yes, in the yes. Faru's? Yes. Well, I think there's a lot of things going on in different ways, but I think what roots us all together in Faru's people is the singing. Um, we have a very strong culture of song and uh, we have a lot of good fairy singers and uh, I think song and the melody is very strong in our culture mm -hmm. but um, there's a lot of good music going on right now Connie Kass is a new musician that I really like uh, Guri Hamstutter that maybe some of you know <laughs> and um, so 
But even though it's so small, there's so many genres. You can get electronic music, you can get folk music, you can get whatever music you want. And mm -hmm. that's the beauty of Ferrana, it's very diverse, even though it's very small. Mm -hmm. And who is your main audience? The young or all ages? Mm, all ages, actually. And I, I'm really happy about that because I think um, I talk about topics that are related to all of us. So. I think mm -hmm. it's very diverse, uh, so I'm happy mm -hmm. about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, thank you. And my last question yeah. would be, um, um, is it your first visit to Russia? And actually, mm -hmm. how do you find Russian people? Do, do you think they have common features with Farouk's people? Well, I have only been here uh, some days, but I find it very interesting. And like now I come here to uh, um, uh, Moscow, and I'm just blown away by the beauty of this city. I, I have never seen anything like this before uh, it's like so beautiful old buildings and um, and I yeah I am speechless about that um, I unfortunately I haven't had time to go out and stuff like that and I wish to do that and come again and more like meet mm -hmm. the locals mm -hmm. and so on and see how that is um, but it seems very very interesting I've always been very interested in Russia mm -hmm. I really like Russian movies Mm -hmm. and the classical music here. Um, unfortunately, I don't know much about the contemporary music, but I really want to be in, like to hear more of that. Mm -hmm. Russia for us, uh, the rest of Europe, is a quite close country. Mm -hmm. It's very hard for us to to get through there. Mm -hmm. So, but that's uh, actually a door that I hope will open up a bit more for us. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank it you so much. It was very great. Yes, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you.